Good morning, meteorologist Robert Spetta here. It is currently heading into the morning of the 4th of November 2019 in the Western Pacific, and we have our latest tropical storm here. It's located just towards the east northeast of Saipan, towards the northwest of Chuuk. That is Heilong, and uh, this storm system uh, it is intensifying. It looks pretty interesting here in infrared satellite imagery. But here's the key thing: there is a cold front. Actually, I should put this in blue. A cold Cold front coming across uh, the country of Japan, heading towards the east, and that is just going to act like a plow and kick this towards the northeast. Plus, also continuing to watch a separate area out here near the Philippines as well. Big rainmaker with that, but I'm not really confident if that will become a name storm system yet. But how about our name storm system right now? This is definitely the headline here in the Western Pacific: 50 knots, gusting up to 65 knots. Pressure now in now at 985 hectopascals. Here's a key rule of thumb. 970 is typically when you get this at a typhoon intensity. Just a general uh, rule I like to go with. It, it always differs, minor differences from storm to storm. But 970 typically, especially with JMA, is usually when they upgrade these storms based on Dvorak. Uh, really, this is continuing to intensify. Now, it's not very spherical, though. Uh, that's the key thing. You can see a lot of outflow off towards the north and east here some inflow from the south but still plenty of dry air wrapping around that western periphery and that's one reason why uh, this does stay rather weak for now until it gets off towards the north it starts to get a little bit of upper level enhancement with it and that's when I do expect this to kind of explode in intensity in fact according to the joint typhoon warning center it does get up towards about 105 gusting to 130 knots right about in here before it starts to round that curve and gets hit by that wall coming in uh, from the west and that will start to allow this to decrease in intensity but right now though some pretty decent low level winds around this center of circulation good outflow aloft but like i mentioned there is this wall coming in from the west i mean look at these winds here these are upwards of about 60 to 70 knots in some of the upper levels that is going to cause some uh, pretty decent wind shear in there that's going to really kill this out so if you're sitting out here in the philippines which i know oh my gosh the last several days i've had to quell more rumors than anything because a lot of people i appreciate the enthusiasm but do not know how to look at a long range model outlook to save their lives they just see it they don't really evaluate it correctly Heilong is going to move north just based on what we're seeing right now i know this is in the same area where high on formed but it's totally different upper level dynamics in place there is a separate loan near the philippines that could become named too like i mentioned it's out there in the south china sea and plus there is and this is the catcher there is a whole new separate low in the long range forecast that should be watched i'm not terribly worried about right now so let's take a look at this and and what you have here is the latest run from the gfs model here's our low pressure back towards the east here east of guam and there's that separate low over the philippines so let's go ahead and push this ahead here the first halong moves towards the north the latest run from the gfs model does form up a separate low pressure area behind halo but here this is the latest run now watch this as we go further ahead in time though this also picks up in the upper level trough pulling it towards the north meanwhile more likely there is a separate low near the philippines and near vietnam we need to watch but you know this next one it pulls towards the north now what i think people were seeing and let's go back in time to the 12z run on friday whenever we look at long range model forecast you always have to remember anything over 200 hours needs to be taken at the just the value of what it is it's a very long range with limited basically in uh, data ingested into it especially that far out over the ocean there could be so many errors this was about 250 hours out and a lot of people were looking at that 
basically saying, oh my God, it's the next major storm system. That's why I tell people, you got to take a deep breath here. You got to wait for initialization. What I mean by that is an actual cloud to form out here where this is going to develop from before you start jumping on it. And right now we do have the cloud. We have Halong. We also have this system here. But if you look, there is nothing there to really spawn up the initialization of this particular model. What I have been showing you here is the latest from the GFS. Now let's change this up over to it's the ECMWF, the European, another one of the big major players in long range model forecasting. And it does actually develop something behind Halong, but it keeps it very general and also has that little interaction from an upper level trough. So with that said, my main concern at this time is Halong and also the separate low over the Philippines, which could be a pretty decent rainmaker as it kind of lingers out here and uh, definitely going to bring plenty of showers. That's probably the bigger problem, which I shouldn't say problem because the country needs the rain. Now, here's the good news for Japan, which you need dry because it, it, we've gotten back to back typhoons here. Uh, with this little trough that's going to be plowing along off towards the east here, it actually is going to be allowing for some dry, cooler Siberian air to kind of dominate. And that's going to be uh, keeping things relatively cooler and even some snowfall across Hokkaido, maybe in parts of the Japanese Alps as well. So yeah, you know, we got I uh, got some things going on here that it all is interconnected. But the big thing is, especially when you're looking at long range model outlooks, take a deep breath, sit back and relax. All right, guys, that is all for today. Um, please stay safe out there. I will uh, be posting another update at westernpacificweather.com as well. But if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please post them down in the comment box below. And as always, yeah, stay safe out there. All right.